everybody. In this video, I will show you the iOS development environment. As I already mentioned, Xcode is the main development environment for iOS. It was originally built for macOS and in fact it's still supporting macOS. And it also supports tvOS, uh, watchOS, etc. So we mainly focus on iOS and watchOS. In October 2008 it was released, it was then version 3. It was the first one that was supporting iOS. And then we had uh, 3.1, 3.2, etc. And between the 3 and the 4 there were several years because the version 4 uh, only appeared in 2011. And then you had a, a series of versions for several years. And then the version 5 appeared in 2013 and then every year there is one major release of Xcode. In fact there is one major release of Xcode with the major release of iOS. Okay so uh, now uh, we are reaching in 2018 while we are recording this video we are reaching Xcode 10 associated to uh, iOS 12. It's a graphical user interface associated to a software development kit. It allows cross compilation, it avoids a simulator and driven debug on devices. So it's the main tool you use and in fact all our computer rooms are set up with Xcode. What's inside? Xcode in fact is a sort of main entrance and you have several modules inside. Uh, I will not talk anymore about the compiler and stuff, but first module you have a storyboard. Storyboard is a way to edit and design user interfaces. Okay, and your scores aside storyboard you have a textual editor for writing code. You have a simulator and a debugger so you can set up breakpoints into your code and then the simulator will stop your application at the breakpoint. Okay, and this is also possible when you are debugging the application on the device. So you have a way to drive the device and if you set up a breakpoint then the device will stop its execution at the point where you specified and then you can have a look at the state of some variables etc etc. You have instrument that is a profiler that allows you to track memory leaks, uh, energy consumption, uh, CPU consumption, uh, network uh, traffic, etc. etc. So it's quite useful. And you have a static analyzer, uh, which is a sort of analysis of the code with some warning issued when you have some uh, code construction that are uh, that may lead to uh, problems. And you also have a version management that is integrated you can link your Xcode project either to subversion or to git and of course this is on a project basis. And also you have access to the reference manual and I insist this is very important because you must read the fantastic manual okay. This is what means the F and it doesn't mean another word that a given president of a given country in North America likes apparently to use very often. In the next few videos uh, you will have some demonstration about the facilities offered by Xcode to let you be aware of these and to have you being confident with uh, development under Xcode. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later.